Have you ever wondered how our sun was born and how it evolved? How did it shape its surroundings and influence the formation of planets and life? If you are curious about these questions, then you will be amazed by the latest discovery from NASA's James Webb Space Telescope, one of the most powerful and complex space telescope ever built. And it has just snapped a stunning image of a young star and its outflow in unprecedented detail. This image reveals new clues about the structure and dynamics of the outflow, which is a stream of gas and dust ejected from the star at supersonic speeds. The outflow is important for understanding how the star forms and interacts with its environment. In this video, we will explain what this image shows, how Webb captured it, and why it is so important for astronomy. We will also discuss some of the implications and findings of this discovery, and how it challenges or supports existing theories and models of star formation and outflow physics. So stay tuned and get ready to explore the origins of stars with Webb. The star that Webb observed is called HH211, and it is located in the Perseus molecular cloud, a giant cloud of gas and dust where many stars are born. This star is about 1,000 light years away from Earth, which means that we see it as it was 1,000 years ago. It is very young, only about 10,000 years old, which is a blink of an eye in cosmic terms. The star is still growing by accreting material from a disk of gas and dust that surrounds it. As the star grows, it also ejects some of the material in opposite directions along its rotation axis. This is called a jet, and it is a common feature of young stars. The jet is very narrow and collimated, meaning that it does not spread out much as it travels away from the star. It interacts with the surrounding medium, creating shock waves that heat up and compress the gas. These shock waves are called bow shocks because they have a shape similar to the bow wave created by a boat moving through water. The bow shocks are brighter than the jet because they emit more infrared light due to their higher temperature and density. The bow shocks also have different shapes depending on their orientation relative to our line of sight. The ones that are closer to us appear more circular, while the ones that are farther away appear more elongated. Webb's image shows the jet and the bow shocks in amazing detail, revealing features that have never been seen before by any other telescope. The image shows that the jet has a complex structure, with knots and clumps of gas along its length. These knots may indicate variations in the speed or direction of the outflow over time. The image also shows that the bow shocks have intricate shapes, with ridges and filaments of gas forming along their edges. These shapes may reflect the turbulence and instabilities in the shock waves as they propagate through the medium. The results are very exciting and surprising, as they reveal new aspects of the outflow physics that were not known before. The results also confirm or challenge some of the existing theories and models of star formation and outflow physics. One of the main findings is that the jet and the bow shocks have different temperatures and velocities along their length. The jet is cooler and faster near the star, where it is launched, and it becomes hotter and slower farther away, where it interacts with the medium. The bow shocks are hotter and slower near the star, where they are stronger, and they become cooler and faster farther away where they are weaker. This shows that there is a complex exchange of energy and momentum between the jet and the bow shocks as they travel away from the star. Another finding is that the jet and the bow shocks have different compositions along their length. The jet is richer in water near the star, where it is launched, and it becomes richer in carbon monoxide farther away, where it interacts with the medium. The bow shocks are richer in carbon monoxide near the star, where they are stronger, and they become richer in water farther away, where they are weaker. This also shows that there is a complex chemical reaction between the jet and the bow shocks as they travel away from the star. A third finding is that the jet has a high degree of collimation, meaning that it does not spread out much as it travels away from the star. This suggests that the star has a strong magnetic field that confines and aligns the outflow. This may explain why the jet is so narrow and collimated as well as why it has knots and clumps along its length. These findings are important for understanding how HH211 forms and evolves over time. They show that the outflow plays a crucial role in regulating the growth of the star by removing excess angular momentum and energy from the disk. They also show that the outflow shapes its environment by creating cavities and bubbles in the molecular cloud. 
These cavities and bubbles may influence the formation of other stars and planets in the vicinity. This is also important for understanding how stars form and evolve in general. They provide new insights into the physics of jets and bow shocks, which are common features of young stars. They also provide new constraints for testing and improving existing theories and models of star formation and outflow physics. Some of these theories and models include magnetohydrodynamic simulations, shock chemistry models, radiative transfer codes, and synthetic observations. These findings are not final or definitive, however. They raise new questions and challenges for further research on this topic. Some of these questions include, how does this star compare with other young stars with similar or different outflows? How does it fit into the larger picture of star formation in Perseus? How can Webb improve its observations of this star with other instruments or modes? But how did Webb manage to capture such a stunning image of Herbig Harrow 211? The answer lies in its unique capabilities as an infrared observatory. Infrared light is invisible to our eyes, but it can penetrate through dust and gas that block visible light. This allows Webb to see deeper into the molecular cloud, where Herbig Harrow 211 is hidden, and reveal its outflow in all its glory. Webb also used one of its four scientific instruments to take this image the Near-Infrared Camera, or NERCAM for short. It is designed to capture sharp images of distant galaxies, stars, planets, and other objects in infrared light. NERCAM has two modules, one for shorter wavelengths, 0.6 to 2.3 micrometers, and one for longer wavelengths, 2.4 to 5 micrometers. Each module has nine filters that can select different bands of infrared light for observation, this image was taken using the longer wavelength module with two filters, F335M, 3.35 micrometers, and F460M, 4.60 micrometers. These filters were chosen because they can detect infrared light emitted by molecules in the outflow, such as water and carbon monoxide. These molecules are excited by the shock waves and radiate infrared light at specific wavelengths corresponding to their energy levels. By measuring the intensity and distribution of this light, Webb can map out the temperature, density, velocity, and composition of the outflow. Webb also used a technique called spectroscopy to analyze the infrared light from the outflow in more detail. Spectroscopy is the process of splitting light into its component colors, or wavelengths, and measuring how much light there is at each wavelength. This creates a spectrum, which is like a fingerprint of the light source. By comparing the spectrum with known patterns of molecular emission, Webb can identify which molecules are present in the outflow and how they are moving. This image is just one example of what Webb can do to explore the origins of stars, planets, galaxies, and life in the universe. Webb is a revolutionary telescope that will open new windows into the infrared cosmos, revealing secrets that have been hidden for billions of years. Webb will also inspire new generations of scientists, engineers, educators, artists, and enthusiasts to pursue their curiosity and passion for astronomy. We hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new about HH211 and its outflow. If you did, please give us a thumbs up, share this video with your friends, subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one, and hit the bell icon to get notified when we upload new content. Thank you for watching.